Hi folks, you should recognize that view by now. So it's about, what is that, a quarter to seven. It's still 614, Saturday, 20.0 degrees centigrade. Sky is clearing a bit, though the sun's not on my batteries, so she's not fully charged. 68 degrees. Should dry out a bit tonight. Should be some really nice sleeping weather. Some real good sleeping weather. And I'm tired between, um, I went, got up early and went to the flea market. Then I got home, took a power nap, which is about a half hour. Then I uh, drove out to my cousin's, which is about an hour and 10 minutes. Spent several hours there. You know, we lived in the summer of 75. And then uh, here I am uh, back to uh, back to emptying the truck. The truck is empty at this point, but if you take a look at the tires, you can see the mud on it. As a matter of fact, the mud was quite a quite a bit more. It was caked on pretty good. I had to stop by the car wash to uh, to clean it up. I don't like leaving mud and dirt underneath it. I spent much more time washing underneath the truck than I did doing the rest of it. The uh, car wash was horrible. You know, you go to use the pressure washer and there was a leak um, part way up. So as you're using the pressure washer handle, um, it's basically squirting you on the arm and under the armpit. And if you turn just the right way, right across the face. So it was a real joy. Um, one of the first items I wanna highlight is I bought this cart. Um, and by the way, it drags really, really easy. This cart was $30. I didn't think I could build it for that. See the double tubing up here? Space and then tubing on the bottom. This is like an aluminum plate base. Um, handlebar. Looks like a mini bike front tire. Anyway, she dragged really easy. I had some pretty good weight on it. Um, that thing was more or less full. And dragging it back... Um, it was good. Quick commentary about the market. I thought the prices were high, higher than usual. Like, you know, I didn't bring home any tires, not that I need any tires. Once again, you could see the dirt and the mud splashed around. I mean, it went, you know, you see the way the mud's on the underneath there. It did go in pretty deep. The uh, inside path went in deeper, so. And once again, I tried to blast it out of there the best I could, but the car wash wasn't cooperating. So, that's 30 in the truck. The other big items I bought, and this was from one guy who I've done business with before. He sold me uh, these two computers. This is an HP. Um, it's a Windows. Pentium inside, Windows 7. This is more or less uh, the one up from the one I smashed the hell out of. Alltech Lansing. Um, the guy who sold it to me works on computers for a living. And he says he cleaned it up. It, it won't be bothering me with all the things computers bother me like your antivirus is out of date and all this other stupidity. I got, I know the guy, I have his phone number, so if I have any trouble with it, or it's little brother in the Spire, it's known Intel Atom processor inside, XP. They came with the power supplies. Um, one, two, um, and the books, right? that book and the HP book so I gave him 125 for those so if you put the two of those together you get to 155 the jacks were five um, let me try to show you this one pile one blast sorry to be disorganized that'll be a second pile and another blast this I gave him 30 bucks for, and what they are is, um, I'm trying to show you the brand name, I don't know if you guys could see it, Matco, I love Matco stuff, really do like Matco stuff, Let's see if I can show it to you better on this guy, 
There you go. Maybe you could see it better. Matco. And they're swiveled. Um, so the metric ones are Matcos, right? Which makes me happy. The um, the SAE are uh, uh, snap-ons. So these are snap-ons. These are Matcos. So I got these two from him, right? So those two. And this roll, which is a 8 to 15, and it's husky with the roll thing. And this roll underneath, which is 5 16 3 8 7 16. So I'm miss missing half inch, I'm missing uh, 5 8 or um, 9 16. But these are, um, that's a master mechanic. I think there's a Williams in here. Craftsman, you know, so they're brand name stuff, Craftsman, Craftsman, Master Mechanic, Craftsman, Master Mechanic, Master Mechanic, so, so both rolled with these, um, I thought there was something else in here, oh, yeah, both rolls, and I think I got this out of him too, and I gave him 30 bucks for it. I figured just these Macos were worth well over the 30, so um, that was 30 bucks. So we were at 125 and 30 is 155, 160. 30 is 190. So I'm at 190. Let's see. Let's go for this other deal. I kind of overpaid for this, but I liked it. It was a complete set. These are Husky. Um, black. Six point. Put one out. That's easy. See, six point black. Um, they have... Um, Metric and SAE. I gave him 15 for this, which takes me to 205. Then um, the light bulbs, and these are interesting. Though this is kind of a crystal look. It's halogen inside of it. You can see it was 659 at the time. These are kind of an old-fashioned look. They are just standard light bulbs, still have standard Edison, no, no special gas. Um, anyway, oh, they were they were actually four for three. These were a buck, right? Got to have something from Halloween. I don't know what they do. This is um, Craftsman um, Metric Deep and a few. Um, shallow, but these are all six points. I don't recall what I paid for that. This guy, he wanted um, 25. I gave him 15. It's a Tom Tom. It didn't come with the back thing, but I have the back thing from another one. So for 15 bucks, I tried it out there. It works. It's a little bit smaller, but it works real good. Came with the books. That makes me happy. Um, speaking of books, these were 50 cents each. I like my mysteries. That's his three bucks, but this, that was three. And I got this with it. And the generator plug, you know, the old L1430 uh, generator plug. And I got, it wasn't this one, it was, Maybe it was this one, I don't recall. Anyway, that wrench and this. This I like because it's SK. And this. And I think I gave the woman 10 bucks for all of it, including this, this guy. I'm not sure what the hell this is. I don't know if you guys reckon. I mean, obviously it's a ratchet, but I'm not sure why. Um, 
and then you can reverse it by doing that. I'm not sure why there's a socket on both sides. And this socket seems to be stuck. This one I could get off, so I'm, I'm not sure what. So I think I, I gave her 10, so I don't know. Let's take me up to somewhere around uh, two and a quarter. Then like this $2 and the brakes, which he wanted five. And this that he wanted 10. And then these guys here, I gave him 15 just to make the numbers easy. Let's make it uh, like 240. This was five. This is a Husky ratchet with um, Craftsman um, sockets, and they go well with that small set that I had there. Um, I went five for that. This pile, this guy, which is an SK, right? Um, channel lock, that's a Williams um, Craftsman, Craftsman. And this hammer, when I was a kid, it's a Stanley. My father had this exam, same exact hammer. So I went $5 for that. The telephone was a buck. The huge bag of power supplies was five bucks. Um, and all those Christmas tree lights were nine bucks. Inclu you, you know, the regular standards and um, all of those Edisons. So, um, the ponchos, I think I paid her a dollar for the two of them, and those book bag things, they were um, five dollars for both. There's, uh, you know, four, so to speak, right? You get the duffel bag, the book bag, and um, there's two, two. so um, anyway, the, these were five, those were two. So, I guess my haul, I'm going to say it was under 300 bucks. What you don't see here, um, you're not looking at any three-wheelers. You're not looking at anything gasoline-powered. It was uh, not a good day for that. My battery's blinking, so i got to get off. Folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Um, remember to keep your feet down. Keep your head up. Um, Thanks for watching. Once again, thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. We'll catch you all on the next uh, next episode of The Horde. Until then, you know, be happy. Enjoy your lives. It's way too short. Way, way too short. So make sure you have fun. Bye now.